Welcome to the GeoWorkshops.org Select by Location Lecture. My name is Samantha Bolkovich and I am the GIS Educator Analyst at Washington College and I'll be going through this lecture with you and also doing a demo a little later on. The Select by Location tool is a geoprocessing tool found under the selection menu in ArcMap. With the Select by Location tool, you can select features based on their location to other features. Under the selection method, you have the choice to select new features or add to, remove from, or select from currently selected features. So, it is possible to use the selection tool to select an area you are interested in and then run a select by location query from the area you have already selected. Although there's a special dialog box to help you select feature, features based on their location, the select by location process is based on a simple query. The query reads as follows. I want to either select, add, remove, etc. features from the following layers. This is where you'll add the applicable layers that intersect, contain, touch, etc. The features in this layer, and this is where you'll choose the other layer. Once the dialog box is filled in, you should go back and read it through like a sentence to make sure that you have populated the fields with the correct information to get the results you're looking for. There are 13 spatial selection methods. It is unlikely you will ever use them all, but it's a good idea to become familiar with them so you know their capabilities. It is also important to remember while filling out the Select by Location dialog and reviewing the selection methods that the target layer should be the layer that contains the features that you want to, to select. I'm just going to review a couple of these selection methods, giving you examples in the demo. The first selection method is intersect. Intersect will select any features that share a common part with the source layer. The second selection feature is are within a distance of. This method essentially sets up a buffer and whatever is selected falls within that buffer. The next is contain. When using contain, the target must fall within the geometry of the source layer and can touch the source boundary. So in this example, if Texas was the target layer and the source layer was the continental United States, Texas would be selected, but Hawaii would not because it does not fall within, within the continental United States. The next selection method I'm going to touch on is R within. With this selection method, the target layer is inside the geometry of the source layer. The target's boundaries can overlap the source's boundaries. This is very similar to contain. As in this example, you can see that Montana would be selected because it falls within the continental United States. Alaska would not be selected because it does not fall within the continental United States. The next one is are identical to. Our identical to selection method selects two features that are considered identical if their geometries are strictly equal. Touch the boundary of. If the target feature touches the source layer by one edge, vertex, or endpoint, it will be selected by this selection method. In this case, the source and target layers must be either lines or polygons in order for this selection method to work. The last selection method I'm going to go over is have their centroid in. 
With this selection method, the target feature will be selected if the center of its geometry falls within the geometry of the source layer, or in its boundary. So, which of the following target features would be selected in this example? If you guess target number two, you're correct. Check out the demo next to see more examples of the Select by Location tool in use.